Hello, it's Tania Styles, um, artist, stylist, model, here with Young, Bold, and Regal. So we're happy to have you here. We've met you on two occasions, once at the Cali HBCU picnic coming out this Sunday again, once again, 2019. And then, of course, seeing you as a model at the LA, um, LA Movement Fashion Week during BT yes. Awards weekend. But we want to know, um, how did you get started in all your interests as far as being a model, as far as being an artist, as far as, far as wanting to be a fashion design, d designer? You know, I started at a very young age wanting to um, have this as a goal of mine and just it, it sprouted from there. It started as a fashion designer and then went further with being an artist and a model just just with my to start my foundation. That's what I felt like was needed to learn how to draw and to learn how to model. What's one advice you gave yourself when it came to being either a model or a fashion designer? or an artist, something that allows you to just release your release your full potential? Well, I always stay motivated every day. I had to make sure that I stay motivated knowing that it's all possible and that whatever I, um, I want, I can go get it as long as I work hard enough. So uh, I know that it's there for me. I just know I have to get it. So every day I try to stay motivated knowing that I can, staying confident and just, you know, being bold and doing it. What's one piece of advice your mom gave you about um, your foray when it comes to being creative, something that you kind of hold in your head all the time? Well, my mom was the first artist that helped inspire me to start drawing because um, at first I, I didn't think I would be able to do it, and she's actually the one who told me that I would have to work on it on my own to figure it out. Who are some, maybe some artists, some models that you kind of emulate or some, someone you kind of look up to in the world, whether male, female, past or present? I look up to Beyonce always. I always have looked up to Beyonce, and I also look up to Chris Brown. He's always working just as Beyonce. She's always working and doing it to her best. What are, what are some three qualities you love most about Beyonce, something that you're always thinking, like she's always these three things? She's always on point with everything that she does, no matter if it was, um, well, I watched her performance at Coachella, and that was amazing. I watched um, how much work she put into it, and to me, it came out, like, phenomenal. She's always working her best. That um, That is what I, I do all the time, and just to have that quality, and she's, she's working more than just being a singer. She's sprouting it out and doing a lot of other things, and she allows herself some time for her family. So what are some three qualities you would describe yourself as a creative under the umbrella of you being a model, an artist, a fashion designer? Well, I'm persistent, um, I'm confident, and I'm motivated, very determined. We saw that, that, that confidence, that motivation with you walking in the Movement LA fashion show. Why don't you discuss with us a little bit more about your future goals as far as being a model, being in the modeling world, what do you want to accomplish? Well, I want to have um, multiple companies uh, for different reasons spread across the United States and just pretty much the whole world. Um, I wouldn't want to limit myself to just the United States. I, I want to have um, a company that, you know, um, emulates Chanel. I'm very, um, I look up to Chanel a lot. Then I remember you mentioned once upon a time that you would want to, we well, would love to walk in Paris fashion. I would. So let's say if you're walking in Paris fashion, you just walked for Chanel. What other production houses do you want to walk to work for? Uh, for fashion houses, Givenchy, um, the new Fenty line with with, with Rihanna, um, Balenciaga. Who else would do you and look up to as far as fashion houses? Well. Everyone that you just named just now. Um, I also look up to Fendi. I love their style as well. Um, everyone that you that you named, I want to be a part of as many things as I can. I want to take in any opportunity that I can. What's your thoughts on Rihanna making history as, I, I believe she's the first black woman to have her own fashion line under the, the bigger conglomerate of all fashion houses? How does that impact your life? How does that impact future fashion designers? And how does that impact your life as far as being a model in 2019, 2020? 
Well, that's that's awesome to me. She's showing us that we can do it. Um, Rihanna, I've always looked up to Rihanna. She's always kept herself so pristine and getting all her stuff done. It's just, it's amazing. And uh, I hope one day I can do the same things and follow in her footsteps. So speaking about Rihanna, obviously an amazing creative, uh, an amazing musician. Is there one Rihanna song or is that one song out there that gets you kind of pumped up whenever you're walking a show, whenever you're starting on an art piece, something that really puts you in the zone? Um, I really like all of Rihanna's music. This is why this is, uh, <laughs> this is, this might be a little difficult. Um, okay, you, you got fresh off the runway, obviously. You have her earlier work, Umbrella. You have so many of her classics. So uh, is there, is there maybe, like, is it Rihanna's entire catalog? Is it, it? A lot of her music. Umbrella has always been something for me because, you know, I, I grew up to Rihanna, so I can just see myself now um, singing and dancing to her song when I was very little, so always. Just speaking about uh, musicians and creatives, what do you feel is the job as the artist's uh, position when it comes to showcasing their art? Should they be as controversial as ever and show the world what they're about, or should they be conservative and work within what they have? What is your viewpoint on that? Well, I feel like it depends on the artist. Um, me, myself, I'm, I'm very outspoken and I'm, I'm bold. Um, some artists like to be secretive with their art and want people to figure it out on their own. To me, I choose the art piece. It's based off of the piece to me. Um, some pieces I might not want to say much about and some pieces I'll lay it out on the table. But what I do love is to open it up to perception. Anybody, I would like to hear their view before I tell them mine. So speaking about being bold, of course, it's young, bold, and regal. What's the boldest move you've done in your career, in, in, your, in your young life? Um, there's a lot of bold moves. Uh, every move that I do is bold because I like to jump on opportunities. Um, <laughs> the boldest move is to, you know, if I see that there's an opportunity to go and network, uh, if I'm on the list, if, uh, you know, whatever the case may be, I'm going to be there regardless. So any opportunity, I take it and make it mine. So basically, if I, if I see an opportunity to network, I take the bold move and I, I get there. All right, perfect. So you're on the list. You're going to one of the most amazing uh, like parties or fashion house shows in the world. You see Beyonce, Beyonce introduces herself. She doesn't have to because she's Beyonce, but she's courteous and nice. What are the first things you're gonna say? What are you gonna, what are you gonna say about yourself to her? Well, other than the fact that I look up to her, which I'm sure she has so many people that look up to her, um, I just wanna, I wanna give her, I wanna let her know that she, she did it and it, it's, it's, She's at the highest point that I can see for myself. So she's just moving up and up. To me, I just want her to know that she's, she's. I, I see her doing it, and I acknowledge all the hard work that she's done. And it's been very helpful to me within myself. I want to let her know that she's 